Well, good morning, everybody. This is Steve. Welcome to the Little Little Wood Shop and our Sunday evening blog. What we have for you today, uh, and we had gone over the, the blog itself a little bit more in depth in the shop, reading off my trusty tablet on drawing exchange format files. Well, I wanted to give you a more live, up and close and personal view of DXF and how it works within VCarf Pro, or as a matter of fact, any of the Vectric products, as I'll show you right now. Uh, this is the Vectric comparison chart, summary of functionality in Cut 2D desktop as well as Pro, VCarve Pro as well as its desktop series, and Aspire. Now we can see right here that our import allows us to import all of these file sets. Now we also know that the free library that I have for each and every one of you to go in and use and share and enjoy, turn a few bucks if you can, all the power to you, uh, I pretty much cut and render all my files in EPS as well as PDF and you get the originating software file uh, which is CRV through VCarve Pro. Now we're also, in all of the Vectric products, not only can we read DXF, but we can also export DXF, EPS, Encapsulated Postscript, AI for Adobe Illustrator, and SVG. Well, what I thought I'd do real quick is I would share with you uh, a site that I found that cuts nothing but DXF files. All right, the first thing we're going to start out with is I'm going to make it very clear here that I'm not affiliated or associated with this lady or gentleman who owns this website, okay? But I felt that they were really, really some incredible folks sharing the amount of work that they have shared. Now, the first thing we'll start out with is saying that shown on this website, uh, the DXF files shown on this website are for personal use only. I'm looking at doing a piece of wall art in my home, one of the particular files in this uh, this website caught my eye that I'd like to use for personal use. It clearly states that I can use it for such. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Maybe we'll make a blog out of that down the road, okay? By visiting this site, you agree not to distribute or publish any material from this site, which I, I promise not to. Uh, all the image files that I use in the Google Drive library are from openclipart.org. But regardless of where I go, regardless if they're free to use, for whatever reason, I always like to give attribution back to the originating artist or source, which in this case is mydxf.blogspot.com. Like I said, this is a very gracious gift for somebody to give of over 600 different files, okay? So, again, give credit where credit's due. I know people appreciate it. I certainly do, okay? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to bring you in uh, VCarve Pro right now. I've already got the canvas opened up, and we're not going to go into any type of big programming. We're going to strictly show you how to import and how to export things. This is the scenes, openclipart.org scenes folder. That's the same one for download on, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, on our library itself, or within the library, I'm sorry. What I'm going to do is I'm going to basically, for the, for the sake of the video, we're going to drag in a CRV file. I'm going to drag it in and I'm just going to drop it. Okay, what we've got here is big old Mr. Plump Raccoon. Uh, we will cut a toolpath with this animal real quick. Uh, like I said, he was brought in as a CRV file, an originating VCarve Pro file. However, I do include an EPS as well as a PDF. Now, let's just uh, we'll just cut him real quick so that I can I can have him rendered for you. Alrighty. We're gonna set our color in black and we're gonna look at all the tool paths. There's a nice little plump raccoon on a on a log, alright? Well let's say you wanted to export this as a DXF. Again, we now know from the opening video in this blog as to why DXF has been around so long and the importance of it, all right? What you do is you go up to File, and you would go to Export. What we're going to do 
is I normally export as EPS. All right. But in this in this case, we're going to export this chubby old raccoon as a DXF file. I'm just going to put him. I'll throw him on my desktop, whatever the case is, or I'll throw him in my documents folder, and I'll just save him there. Okay. The DXF file that's now rendered can be shared across the board. Like I said, you may not own a, a router. You may have a laser. You may have a plasma cutter. You may have a water jet. Regardless, the DXF file is going to work in multiple, multiple other CAD software programs, okay? Now, now that we have done this, <coughs> excuse me, the other thing that you can also do, and I've shown you this, I think, in last weekend's blog, uh, with marking up, putting uh, measurements on your on your print, how to highlight and include a PDF image. All right. Well, what we're going to also do here is we're going to ex uh, we're going to export him here in just a second. Let's get back to him. Uh, we're going to export him as an SVG file, and I'm just going to drop him. Uh, I'll drop him right in my documents folder as well. And we'll save the, uh, the scalable vector graphic file there. Okay? Let me minimize out of this. And what I'm going to do is we're going to now look at Mr. Raccoon. What you have is you have an SVG file that could go with your DXF file. So somebody who was interested in uh, sharing with you perhaps could have, a, uh, have an actual image file to look at to see what it is they're actually getting. Okay? Now, let's say we wanted to take our CAD software and we wanted to import him as a DXF file. The same is going to apply as if you were pulling in a, an EPS, a PDF, a CRV, okay? You would just go to File. You could go to Import. You can import vectors right there. You could bring him in that way, or let's uh, let's delete him real quick. Okay, let's import vectors from a file. You can get it the same same way. And that's it, folks. That's basically all there is to importing and exporting a DXF file. Nothing too crazy, but again, DXF can be shared across the board with multiple CAD software programs. I urge any of you, if, uh, if you do create your own work and you, can, you have the option and you can share it, please do because a lot of other folks out there have a lot of great ideas. And I love sharing what I find and what I make with all of you. All right? Well, I hope everybody had a great weekend with you and yours. My subscribers, my followers, thank you so, so much again. And uh, stay tuned. We've got more to come. All righty? Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Take care. Have a good week. Bye-bye now.